Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome to Bloodborne, uh, which is going to be probably be the last of the Souls games that I really have a stronger familiarity with. Because, like, I've played through Dark Souls 3, but I've only played through it once. I've actually played through Bloodborne a couple times. Uh, the first time managing to do so without... Uh, going to Kanehurst because I did not realize that at the time. Um, and getting the worst ending. And then, although I suppose all the endings are a little bit ambiguous. But besides that point, like, this is a game I've actually played a couple times. I would not call myself an expert. I would say I'm average. Um... Like, I'm at that level where you're, like, you're, you're confident enough to, to be familiar with the systems, but not good enough to actually uh, do cool things. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm also playing it offline because my internet connection is poor, and I feel with Bloodborne's fast-paced combat, like, the style does not benefit... Like, lag does not do it any justice. So... It's for the best. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. All right, then. Now, I'm playing on the PS5. I've, I tried it out on both the PS4 and PS5 before recording this. Um, like, it's unfortunate that there isn't a uh, 60 FPS remaster of this game. Because that would be really awesome, and I'm like I'm 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 a little disappointed that like of all the things that Sony decides like what are we gonna remake first? Let's remake The Last of Us Part One, uh, which has been remastered and put onto multiple con uh, consoles instead of Bloodborne. Um, we will go with our typical, but yeah, I. I while the PS5 version does not necessarily give it 60 frames per second, uh, and it does like it does seem like it improves the loading time somewhat, and the performance on the PS5 was a little bit better than it was on the PS4. So that is what I'm going with. Um, I don't like of all like, the souls games as a, as a franchise are ones where i don't really worry that much about my appearance because like with like dark souls 1 through 3 uh you die and you become this husk and you're like oh there goes my personalized decisions great demon souls is a, is is a bit of a, a disparity amongst that disparity uh is a different in regards to that because at the very least in Demon Souls, when you're dead, you're in your kind of like soul ghost form, but you still look like you. Uh, Bloodborne's issue is that a lot of your outfits just cover you up, like cover you up completely. So what you look like in like here. Like you don't really see much of it. So, let us just find a... Wasn't there a hair option? Scale adjustment, face details. Somehow that is face detail. Yeah, I would still say the uh, Demon Souls remake has probably the best character customization options. Let's actually just stick with the black hair. That's fine. Uh, 
Ooh, do we want glasses? Eh, a bit too steampunk for my tastes. Sure. Because of all of the blood, you only see red. All right, let us... Oh, didn't even bother switching an origin. Um, so the... My weapon of choice is the axe. I'll probably be going... Be using the axe for... Probably the entire game. Um... Which is a strength-based weapon. So that seems like a violent past would be the better choice. I've never really understood the blood tinge and arcane paths. Like... I haven't looked into it. So there's that too. But like... Yeah, th those two pathways uh, are extremely unfamiliar to me. Um, Skill-based weapons I'm not particularly good with. Uh, because it definitely relies more on your ability to dodge than necessarily to do a lot of damage in one hit. And I like the, the, that ability, to be able to do a lot of damage in one hit. So we will go with a violent past and carry on. Blade of Mercy. The weapon, th sorry, the game's load times are still pretty long. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> I suppose that's also a question to be asked about this game. How much was real? How much is a dream? Like, you are in the hunter's dream, and the, the game ends in the dream. Oh, hello. I feel like this is very emblematic of the game as a whole, like, the whole bait-and-switch, like, it sets up the idea that werewolves are a bigger player towards the beginning of the game, but as the game progresses, it becomes more Lovecraftian in its horrors. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. Yeah. We are now in Iosefka's clinic. She's around here somewhere, but we will worry about that later. Because we cannot reach her. There, she's through that door. Um, can we open up that door? I've never tried. Or should I say, never at this moment. Is this the door that she's always standing on the other side of? Or is there, there's usually a staircase. No, no, wait, yeah. There's the, um, there's a arch stone on the other side of these doors, and then a staircase that leads to a Sefka. Uh, but for now, we are unarmed. We can do that. We can do judo chops. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. But see what I mean? Like, how much of our character customization can we actually see at the moment? 
We could barely even see our cool sunglasses. We're not even using our suspenders. Like we should just be tossing our suspend our suspenders away. Attack. Lock on release. Of course, it gives us all of the tools we need to defeat our first enemy. Hello. Punch! Ah. There we go. Fantastic. I was worried out uh, whether or not I would actually be able to do that while recording. Restore HP uses a blood vial. We're not going to worry about that just yet because blood vials are... They're no Estus Flask. Um... It would, it would be nice if, if I was going to make any modification of this game. One, 60 frames per second. Two, um, you always have 20 blood vials on you. And it restores every time you go to the hunter's dream. The hunter's, uh, yeah, the hunter's dream. Um, so you never have to farm blood vials. Like, the farming of blood vials is probably the most tiresome aspect because you do go through blood vials relatively quickly. And if memory serves me right, you never actually are able to upgrade your blood vials. Like, you can upgrade your Estus Flask in the Souls game. Um... That horse did not make it. But you cannot upgrade your blood vials in Bloodborne. So your damage uh, recovery is generally always based on... Mm. It's too good for me. Nope, I got him. Like, that, that was unnecessary. I didn't have to do that. We're not going to worry about those two guys later because I'm not going to worry about karate chopping everyone. Um, well, th those are happy noises. Just, just, just a good time everybody's having out there nobody's suffering at all oh you must be a hunter and not one from around here either i'm gilbert a fellow outsider you must have had a fine time of it yarnum has a special way of treating guests well i don't think i could stand if i wanted to but i'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. <laughs> this is probably true. Hail blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the Healing Church. The Church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> they say a lot of things. Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. 
across the valley to the east of Yarnum, you'll find the Cathedral Ward. Deep within lies the old main cathedral, said to be the source of blood. I haven't heard of pale blood, but that's your best bet if it's anything to do with unique types of blood. <coughs> across the valley, okay. that's your So we're done here. So, now that we have have the lamp activated, we can transport ourselves to the Hunter's Dream, get equipped, have weapons. Um, for the longest time, when, when, when we get there, there's going to be a doll that is used for leveling up. For the longest time, I always assumed the doll was tied to Insight, but it is not. Or should I say not entirely? Um, there's a, uh, you can pick up Madman's Insight in the first, or... What is the, what is the call, the item called that, uh, gives you insight in this game? Madman's something or other. Um, and you use that to gain one insight. And if you do that before coming to the Hunter's Dream for the first time, uh, the doll is still asleep. It is only the second time that the doll wakes up. So you need insight, and it needs to be at least your second time here. But for now, an abandoned doll. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. We will use the hunter axe... The saw cleaver doesn't quite have the range that I like. The threaded cane doesn't have the damage. The messengers offer you a firearm. Choose one. Firearms are wielded with a left hand and employed in beast hunting. I'm going to go with the hunter blunderbuss this time, only because I feel like with the widespread this might make attempting to parry easier. The hunter pistol does more damage um but i never rely on it anyway because as i was saying about blood tinge and arcane a notebook received from the messengers leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters in other worlds i'm playing offline not necessarily that useful now uh germain how are you doing, you creepy old man? Aha! You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am... German. 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 Not Germain. German. Sure to be in a fine haze Why does it seem now? like it took him a while to Don't remember his name? Hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the dog, should it please you. Sir. All right. Um, there's not too much we can do in the dream right now. This is not accessible yet, the memory altar. Uh, we don't have any... What does the workshop use? Bloodstones. Fortify weapons with bloodstones. But we do not have bloodstone shards at the moment. Um...
Then there's you guys over here, the stump messenger. The stump appears linked to the nightmare, but there are no messages because I'm offline. I'm still not sure whether I want to do the, um... I don't remember what these things are called again. Um, the Chalice Dungeons. A short ritual root chalice is required to conduct a ritual. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll see how I feel. I've never really considered them necessary. And I don't think I've ever actually completed them. And then this gate, which leads to the final boss area, is closed. So for now, let us go... Not Archstone, Headstone. Let's take the Yarnum Headstone. Uh, let's go back to the sick room so we could talk to... Um, uh, Ayasefka. Now, what was supposed to happen is I was supposed to die by the werewolf because the game doesn't teach you how to backstab bad guys until after that moment. Um, and then I would have just appeared at the Hunter's Dream. So the entire idea of using a gravestone to travel around, you're always dying, um, would stand out a little bit more. And then, now that I've got weapons, I can show up to that werewolf and show him who's boss. But I've already done that. And now we have Ayasefka. She's standing right behind the door. You can kind of see her through the crack in the glass. She is up to no good. And you can fight her, or you can on the hunt. let her die. Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. I am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Yasefka's blood vial. Now go. And good hunting. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll do my best. Are you still in need of something? But I have nothing more to offer. Please try to understand my position. I can only pray for a fruitful hunt. Now, if I remember correctly, supposedly one of her hands is actually holding a gun. Like, she is adamant on defending her position on the other side of that door. Regardless, we don't have to worry about her just yet. Uh, we have beasts to hunt and this beginning area of Yarnum to explore. Not a particularly good first set of swings, but we'll manage. I like how they are the ones who consider you the anomaly, the, the creature who's come in. I also like that you don't expend stamina quickly climbing a ladder. That is a nice convenience. Um, let's try pairing this first guy. Yeah. I, I'm not particularly good. Yeah, I'm not particularly good at pairing. In this game or any other Souls game. Hello. Just 
Excuse me. Ow. How very rude of you. Also? Okay, these guys aren't too far ahead now. Might as well get rid of them. Ah. I'm, I still... If there's anything that I haven't necessarily gotten good at at this game, it's grasping the combos in between... Um, yeah. In between weapon transformations. I feel like I can do a lot better in regards to that. Alright. One shortcut unlocked. Now this guy's always tough at this particular point in the game. Ow. Okay, I was hoping to do better. I was hoping. Okay, that I did a lot better. All right, so let's give this guy a second try. He will now possess our blood echoes. We will know this by the light in his eyes. Ah, I, I, I hate that spin. Ah, there go all my blood echoes. Damn it. Alright, I suppose I don't really need to defeat him. Not yet. But it's a matter of pride at this point. Thank you. I, I, there we go. I didn't get them all back. But I got some of them back. And you know, that's what counts. Oh, hold on. I should be able to get you. Take that. This upcoming group is also tricky for new players, especially uh, even old familiar players like myself. Oh my gosh. I forgot what button was dodge. Even old familiar players who push the wrong button to dodge. Like myself. I was thinking I should be pressing L2, not L1. Alright, let's avoid this. That was a nice try, sir. But I actually saw that this time. Um, can we grab this over here? No, that's on the other side. Uh, hello. Why are you going without me? Hey, hey, hey. I I'm up here. Yeah. 
Oh, these guys are leaving the pack. Might as well get them while they are separate. Is it? Ah. Actually, that wasn't so bad. I made a mistake, but I was able to recover from said mistake. Oh, hold on. I think I might have passed something by real quick. Hmm... One of these lights is on, which indicates that there's somebody home. And I'm sure, like, nothing's going to... Like, nothing's really going to wor be worried too much if I pass him by. Alright, alright, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, I, I get you. Who'd open their door on the on the night of the hunt? So in this section, there's a dog here. Dogs are a little bit trickier, especially in this game, especially considering that you can't like it's all offensive, almost no defensive. Your only defense is just not getting hit. Where is the dog? Of course, there's also the other adage, cowardice will not save your life. Oh, hello. Now. Serpentine. I forgot what the architecture was around me. Ah. All right. So far, I've at least gained more vials than I've used. There's at least that. Yes, it's me, that outsider. Anything to do with you. Oh. Trot along, will ya? Aww. Alright, how many of that crowd is left? I know there's still the gunman up top. Uh, let's go after him first. This is a pretty sturdy gate. I, I would have to give, uh, I'd have to give props to this inanimate carbon rod for saving the day once again. Why, hello, sirs. Cold blue... Cold. Let's start looking at these. Cold blood dew. Hunters sustained by the dream gain strength from blood echoes. They imbibe the blood with thoughts of reverence. Indeed, gratitude for their victims. Oh yeah, and we also picked up Yusefka's blood vial. This refined blood, highly invigorating, restores a larger amount of HP, the product of slow and careful refinement process. This rare blood vial appears to be a clinic original. 
I never use that because you only have one. And I always feel like if you've only got one and it takes multiple tries to defeat a single foe, Like, that's risky. Well, uh, let's go deal with this guy real quick. See, this guy is good to farm for blood vials. Like, there are two of them near the uh, lamp. And they almost always drop blood vials. And they're not particularly terrible to defeat. These horrible barking ravens. I'm referring, of course, to the party upstairs and not these monstrosities I just defeated. It's a good thing all these doors are sturdy. Alright, they can have as much fun as they want. Let's... Let's unlock a shortcut. It's in that direction. Oh. You missed. I don't even know how you did that. Some cold blood dew. Hold on to that for a bunch. You're a hunter, aren't you? Then, well, do you know of any safe places? I know of zero safe places. Um... This is this is actually something I've done a couple times while playing Bloodborne. I played Bloodborne um, while advising people to go to the spot you're supposed to send them in order to keep them alive. And then I've played through the game, sending them all to the place where you send them to die. Good times. Good times. Um, for now, though, let's unlock the shortcut back to the lamp. Um, also, something else to note is the farther I get in this game, the less I'll know. Like, I know Yarnum fairly well. Only because I've played Yarnum over and over again. But, like, when you get to those farther, later areas, the amount of times I've played those sections drops dramatically. Alright, I've reached my maximum in regards to blood vials, which means everything else goes into overstock. Um, how many... Yeah. I have enough, uh... Shards that I can...
I try not to uh, attract both of them at the same time, though. Like, I, uh, they're not terrible to fight, but you fight two of them at the same time, especially when you haven't leveled up at all. If you say so. Shining coins? Oh, thank you. Blood vial. I was, I was gonna be like, I advertised them as a blood vial farming... Like a choice uh, for farming blood vials, and they drop none. Alright, we're gonna go this way now, so we can unlock a second shortcut. And also so we can talk to one of the coolest characters in the game. Possibly the coolest. Let's see. Let's grab this over here. And then while we're at it... Drop that down. And... That. We're not going to worry about those for now. Just remember that they are there. What was her name? Oh, a hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. A hunter must hunt. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. What are you still doing here? I want to find out your name. I forgot. Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. All right. Um. Shook off my cape so hard, her cape fluttered. All right, now then there are these fellas down here. This guy with the torch, he ain't so bad. I say before being sliced and diced uh, to pieces. There's another one. That guy. He's worse. Oh, hello. That was a nice try, but you failed.
No. Oh. Yeah, and like blood vials seem plentiful. Everybody seems to drop a couple here or there, but they dry up. They they dry up them them vials. that didn't hit me. <laughs> mm. And then we've got more of these barking... Cr Crows over here. Hmm. Okay, so I want to land there. Oh, hello. You're still alive. Like I was saying, I want to get there. Is that the same height as the area below it? I think so. That's good. Because that means... Oh, hold on. We've got some more barking crows on the other side here. And an item. The oil urns are interesting because... Uh, like, instead of having an item that's used by itself, it's an item that elevates another item. A consumable that makes other consumables stronger. I did a great job bouncing right off of that ledge. You know what? I'm here. Let's go visit the rats. And then we can pick up these items that we dropped, including the saw spear. Um. Madman's knowledge. I uh, completely forgot that there's some madman's knowledge at the end of this row, but this is a little bit harder to get to. There's another madman's knowledge that's easier to pick up. Okay, so now that we've explored... Mm, we've only kind of 66% explored that. We still have the other side with more rats and the other item that we dropped down. And yeesh, we are saturated with blood. Hello. Yeah, let's use one. Why not? Oh, more bloodstone shards. Neat. All right, so now that we've done that, let us carry on open up the secondary shortcut back uh, to the central area. And this is the location of the Madman's Knowledge that I go to if I want to get insight before arriving in the Hunter's Dream for the first time. 
it's a little bit safer area to pick it up. Like, these guys are easier to dodge. Oh my, oh my gosh. I, did I just die to these stupid guys? Now I'm embarrassed. What was I saying before? Enough confidence to have some degree of familiarity, but not necessarily good enough uh, to pay off that confidence. That's what I mean. Now, if I was smart, I would have gone back into the hunter's dream. Oh. None of you absorbed my echoes. Used one of my... Uh, cold blood dues and leveled up my weapon but I am not smart so I did not do that Hello, sir. All right. Another shortcut acquired. Oh, but we also have this person over here. Okay. So yeah, now we're back here. Um, let us grab this item on the other side of the door that we weren't able to before. Shall we try to... to parry this guy? I still don't expect to succeed, but maybe at a distance it'll help. Now that's... Yeah, none of those... There we go. That is what I've been trying to... I was trying to do. Okay. And then we've got a crowd over in this area. Let's see if we can lure any of these m members of the crowd. Oh, hello. Get this dog. Or not. Ah. 
All right. Anybody else? Oh, hello. This dance finished. Yeah, probably. Like, how many people are actually going to be left after the blood borning? The borning of the blood. Alright. What side of the bridge are we on? Um, hmm. We are going to worry about that direction later. We only have so much time today. Shall we try to deal with these werewolves? Cowardice will not help me. So there's a couple things that make Bloodborne difficult. One, enemies do a lot of damage. <sighs> Three things. Enemies do a lot of damage. Um, two, dodging away from enemies is usually a bad move. Because enemies generally have attacks that extend farther than your dodge. Which can make things kind of dodgy. Did I promise a third thing? And they're fast. Okay, there we go. Why not? That can be number three. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to Cathedral Ward as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlight, that moonlit night. Hello. Once again, I'm reminded that I probably should just upgrade my weapon while I have the chance. Hmm. Interesting. Hello. Don't mind me. Oh, hello. Have I actually... S okay, I was gonna say, have I actually separated you from... I have actually separated you from the other werewolf. Alright, I will accept that. Nah. But they can dodge away pretty well. Right. 
Why, hello. More barking crows, dead horse, brick man. Or no, are you stone man? You're stone man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm surprised. I didn't die horribly due to my terrible mistake there. All right. Top ourselves off. Hello! How are you? Yeesh. Ah! How rude. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm reminded that... Like the camera in tight spaces doesn't necessarily work against bigger bad guys. Do anything. Ah. Yeah, I'm reminded also that a lot of Bloodborne bosses are just big screaming guys. Oh, thank you for dodging away from me. Off. 
I'm reminded also that I've said on multiple occasions of this playthrough that I probably should have upgraded my weapons. Particularly good performance on my part. Um, but a win is a win. I think I'm going to stop here for the night. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night. Oh, actually, never mind. Uh, we are going to do a couple things first before we stop. Um, we are going to pick up these items, which we will never really have to worry about. Uh, we are going to fortify our weapon. And then we're going to talk to the doll. Hello, good hunter. I am a doll. Here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. Did you speak with German? He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. All right. Good night. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. 